The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. E Production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. And today we're taking a first look at the newest and most exciting plugin in the game. Honestly, I would call this a game changer. I'm talking about the brand new Studio Rack V11 by Waves. Now, the first and most exciting thing about this is that you can store a long, complicated chain of Waves plugins all in one preset. And if you've ever seen me use Ableton Audio Effect Racks, I think you're gonna be extremely impressed by what this plugin can do in any DAW. Let's jump right in to the Waves Studio Rack. I'm gonna load up the mono version here on this vocal. There's three different views, rack, macro, and all. All is just a combination of rack and macro, and they give you simple input and output gain. And if this is the only Waves plugin you have, that's all you can do here with this. But the magic is really what you can do when you open up Waves plugins within it. So I have this here on a dry care vocal that you've guys heard from a different Waves tutorial. I just need a minute to collect myself. I just need a second to get off this bad trip. All these revelations just confuse my thoughts. Hey. Life would be so easy if I made of plastic. And that's a great place to start, but maybe I actually wanted to low cut it before I compressed it. Grab this, drag it down, and let's go and put an EQ on here. I'm just gonna type, let's try Q2. So we've just created a low cut going into Arvox. And in addition to the low cut, I think I'm gonna hit this with a low shelf too, because this sounds a little bit muffled to me. So I'm just gonna reduce some of the low end that I don't want. I don't wanna break, I don't wanna let people see I am not okay, I am not always magic. There we go. Now, I wanna add a little bit of parallel split. Now the magic of this is not every Waves plugin has a mix knob and this allows you to use it as if it did. And just like Ableton, you start out with a dry chain, and I'll actually just make the second one my dry chain since I have a choice. And let's put my CLA 76, favorite parallel compressor on here. And we could just turn this all the way up and switch it to blue, and then just turn this down to make up for it, and then switch it to all. I just need a minute to collect myself I just need a second to get off this bad trip All these revelations just confuse my thoughts Life would be so easy if I made of plastic So now we have the volume of our parallel compression and then our dry signal untouched on this channel. Now the next really exciting feature that you could do here is multi-band split. Now this is similar to a parallel split where it lets you send the signal off into multiple versions of it, but instead of just having duplicates, it now splits it by frequency. And now this is really epic because if I wanna isolate my mid-range, I can create another crossover point right here that goes up to about, let's call mid-range 7, 700 to 5,000 ish. And let's just put a plugin on the mid range to control it like MV2. This is a great dynamic controller. Boom. So now we have MV2 compressing just the mids on this vocal. I just need a minute to collect myself. I just need a second to get off this bad trip. All these revelations just confuse my thoughts. Life would be so easy if I made of plastic. Now, if we didn't already blow Ableton audio effect racks out of the water with parallel split, multi-band split is where it really takes it to an entirely new level. So we're just doing the dry vocal. I think I wanna keep this vibe going and expand on this and actually make it go stereo. So I'm gonna grab the mono to stereo version of this and very conveniently with Waves plugins, it saves your work when you switch to a different version of it. That's amazing. We can go back into our parallel split into a reverb channel, for example. So let's go grab Trueverb. This is one of my favorite reverbs. I'll pull up the Millennium Verb preset, one of my favorites. I think it's just a little long for this song, so let's drag it down. Do your 808s sound like floppy trash? 
Are you tired of boring bass lines that just don't hit right? Introducing Disrespectful 808s, the all new collection of 808 bass samples so disrespectful you might just get offended too. Disrespectful 808s is available now only at holoops.com. We can easily attach this to a macro. Let's right click on it. Boom. Macro 3 is our reverb macro. Now, what if you don't want the reverb to be able to go all the way up to plus 12? You know, it might make your plugin sound bad if the knobs went places that didn't sound good, like plus 12. So let's solve that very quickly by right clicking on the knob and saying edit macro. And we could just go find the range, the maximum, and let's have the maximum be zero so that the reverb at loudest is the same volume as the vocal. And another trick that I love doing to make my reverb smoother is to hit them with a de -esser. So we could just drop that plug in right here before the reverb, and you'll notice the reverb gets a lot less bright and more smooth and warm. We can even invert the phase of the signal triggering our reverb, which flips the phase of our reverb, sending it even further outside the speakers, or at least what the listener perceives. And we have a pan knob here, and then this blue ring around it is actually an S1 imager, so we can make our reverbs even, even wider. And we can just grab the width right here. Or flip it. And let's add an H delay. Let's go ahead and attach this one, add macro, and this can be our delay. Now, we have a bunch of background vocals here in the chorus that I wanna group up and process with the same exact preset. So I'm gonna right click on these and I'm gonna say, move to new folder, and we're gonna call this a routing folder, and this will be called BGVs. And this is actually a really handy new feature in Pro Tools that makes it, once again, a lot like Ableton. And I'm just gonna put a studio rack right here, a really handy Pro Tools keyboard shortcut, Command-Shift-C and Command-Shift-V. Boom. Or we could save it into our preset menu, call this vocal chain. And here's the preset that you just made. And if you wanna get a hold of all of these Studio Rack V11 presets, they're now available at wholeloops.com, including the brand new Lo-Fi Sauce and Guitar Sauce. And all of these original ones, if you already own any of these, are also a free update in your Whole Loops account. So I'll put a link to that in the description, but let's move on and mix this background vocal a little bit, and then we'll get into the rest of the track. So we have a duplicate of our lead vocal chain here on the background vocals, but it's not exactly what I want. I wanna high cut them a little bit, so that's gonna be the first place I'm gonna start. I might actually just swap this one out for a Q3. And then with our third band, I'm just gonna turn on a high cut. Let's go ahead and add this to macro five. And I think less effects on the background vocals will be perfect, but we very quickly converted our lead chain into a background chain really just by adding the high cut. And let's move down to our guitars, for example. And let's try loading up the guitars, Waves Guitar Sauce preset. Maybe turn the volume down a little bit too. And let's drop the mids down a little bit for the vocals. Put the treble up. And reverb down. Very nice. People say I am not okay. I am not always Without it. Let's turn the input down a little bit and the output down a little bit too. 
and maybe hit it with some reverb in this part. And the next thing I want to sauce up is my drums. So let's do another studio rack. So as you can see, we're doing a lot to this mix with just studio racks. So there you have it, my first look at the brand new V11 Studio Rack by Waves. Considering this plugin is completely free, I would say that this is easily the most epic and best plugin in the game, hands down, nothing tops it. Convince me otherwise. If you want to check out all the presets that you saw in this tutorial, I'll put a link to the Waves Studio Racks at Whole Loops in the description, and I'll catch you guys next time in another tutorial. Peace out.